So advanced financial management, we call it ARM. Advanced mm -hmm. management, we're going to topic one to topic nine. The first topic is uh, under advanced capital budgeting. Advanced capital. <laughs> Advanced uh, uh, capital budgeting. Advanced uh, capital budgeting. So that is the first topic. In, the first topic in EFM, advanced financial ma management. That the second topic, number two, is portfolio. Portfolio theory, a portfolio theory analysis. So you need to pick your field. Portfolio theory analysis. And then the third topic is advanced financial. Advanced, advanced financial, financial a decision. Advanced financial decisions. Number four, topic four, is mergers and acquisitions. Mergers and acquisitions. That is topic four, mergers and acquisitions. Topic five. you put on a chin and Eh, hey, now na, na kini kuna kuna lighti ko apa ko ni ni ko board. Eh, hey, kuna lighti apa as do. Tifa na di na i light. Kuna yon na sa. At least ako na light siyo. Eh, entai na yon na visuri. So kuna majas an acquisition, and that uh, the next one is corporate restructuring. Corporate restructuring. Corporate restructuring and reorganization. And reorganization. Should we reorganization? And reorganization. That the next one is financial risk management. Number six is financial, financial risk management, financial risk management. Alert number seven, into international financial management. International financial management. International financial management. That is the event to pick eight. The real estate. Real estate. A finance. Real estate finance. And then uh, the next topic uh, or the last topic, which is we don't even we don't even have the notes, is what is called contemporary. We write contemporary, contemporary, contemporary issues. Contemporary issues and emerging and emerging trend and emerging trend and emerging trend. So, in a kuna light, just here in restructuring and reorganization. So, isn't it 
uh, topic the you want to talk financial math management. That is the topic you need to know under financial math management. So under advanced capital budgeting, you will see student will see the portfolio management, how we can manage risk, and then advanced financial decision, mambo na MBV, capital mergers and acquisitions. If one company or two companies want to want to merge and form one company, you will see that one. You will see a uh, different type of acquisition, the horizontal and vertical. And then we see the financial risk management. What are the types of risk? How do we calculate risk? And how do we measure the risk? So and then international financial management, you will see uh, Mabona, international finance money market. How can you age from one uh, currency to another currency? Most of the time it will be eight a dollar, uh, dollar against Kenya shilling. Ugandan uh, shilling uh, against Kenyan shilling or Tanzania against Kenyan shilling. So we will see how to eat that one. Then the next one is now the real estate. Finance, how do we finance the real estate? Or how do we can compute the, how do we evaluate the um, risk associated with the real estate and how can we finance it? That's now the emerging issues for which we don't know. So is any topic at the end of this by March at least to go to go up international finance management. But I don't know what trend in this format. So we will be picking a related topics in a most of the time in a examinable. Like real estate, this one you need an handout. Other one to talk about pay handout as we do what. Computation. So when you are going to pick your kwanza, are you going to list down? Eh. Yes. When you are going to pick your kwanza, capital budgeting. So capital budgeting or capital budgeting under uncertainty. So for organization, before I make any uh, decision, let's make one a budget. Now budget, na juanga budget nini? So we know budget is something that give that guide you on when to spend, how much can you spend, and on what time or, or, or when can you spend that one. So that is the, the budget. So here you're not going to do the budget in a normal uh, financial reporting, accounting with the budget in account. So here to support the budget to calculate uh, in terms of finance. So for budget, uh, advanced capital budgeting, Kuna marambili, kuna incorporating. So we have two types: incorporating, incorporating risk under, incorporating risk under uncertainty, incorporating risk under uncertainty. And then number two, Roman two, incorporating risk, incorporating risk under, uh, under certainty, under certainty. So let me the two, these two concepts. That is the incorporating risk under uncertainty and incorporating risk under certainty. Uncertainty is something that we don't know. It is a something that we can't predict in future. Kama kesho to kesho afanyika. So that is uncertainty. Certainty is mean that you know exactly what will happen, what will happen, and we know the risk. Risk is something that can prevent you from achieving your your target or your your budget. If you are dealing with the budget, 
anything that can prevent you from achieving your target is a risk. Is a risk. And we have several types of risk. You could have finance risk, environmental risk, and also uh, there's a lot of risk. Also inflation risk. Those are examples of risk. risk. So what at one day risk incorporating risk under uncertainty. So to one day now. Under uncertainty, under uncertainty. And then you say, incorporating risk under uncertainty, incorporating risk, incorporating risk under uncertainty, under uncertainty, comma, you say the state of nature, the state of nature, the state of nature in bracket events, the state of nature in bracket events is known, is known, is known in advance, is known in advance. Say, uh, incorporating this under uncertainty, the state of nature in bracket event is known in advance and, and the probabilities, the probabilities, the probabilities are given. And the probabilities are, gi are given. And the probabilities are given. So that is the, under uh, the first one, that is environment under uncertainty. Now, many guys they incorporate this uh, state of nature is known in advance and the probabilities. Oh, sorry, change this one because we have write it. So this one is under a uh, certainty because we know. So that is why the state of measure is being given. So we know what will happen. So this one is certainty, sorry. So that's why you know we can certainty because we know what will happen. That's why the state of measure is being given. The state of measure we are talking about here is the probability, the probabilities. So you will be given a probability, probabilities. And then the second one, you can do an illustration for this one. So you can uh, think, uh, so let's do the, we write the two first before we do illustration. So the second one you say, incorporating, incorporating risk under uncertainty, under uncertainty. And then you say, under this environment, under this environment, under this environment, the state of nature, the state of nature, the state of nature or event is not uh, is not known in advance. Not known in advance, and the probabilities, the probabilities are not are not given, and the probabilities are not given. So this one, uh, you don't know what will happen tomorrow, and the probabilities are not what are not given. Event. We will not be given the probability and also we will not know what will uh, happen. That is under uh, incorporating risk under uncertainty. So, isn't it to be able to understand why he advanced capital budgeting? Mm, let me ask. Yes. 
So uh, the uncertainty and certainty, what are they under uh, capital budgeting? So ukifanya budgeting, eh? what is budget? Eh? Mm -hmm. You need to understand, ukifanya budgeting, budgeting is all about focus, right? Yes. It's all about focus. So ukisema certainty, is that what you can predict? You can predict the future, right? You can predict the future. That is under uncertainty. So, ukisema, like, uh, if you want to purchase a machine, right? And then you know exactly, e machine, it costs 10 million. You know this machine will cost 10, 10 million, right? Mm. So, that one is we live as a as a tenant. You can predict that machine will cost what 10, 10 million. But under uncertainty is that you don't know, you, don't, you can't predict the future. The future. So you assume that the machine will cost what 10 million. But ukifika kwa supplier, supplier na kwambia nini? Be ya machine mifanya nini? So we get 20 20 million. So unajua exactly. But in Guinea, you don't know. You don't know. That should be basically the difference. You at least have over there. Okay. To analyze the tools, the tools that we need to calculate risk, I'm going to evaluate risk. At any rate, we just need to go to the company. Fanya QA quantitative analysis. Mm. The financial, the financial management that was uh, under intermediate level. I think you have to open a tool used to measure, tool used to measure on tools. This is a subtopic of the tools used to handle to handle risk, to handle risk. So what are these methods we are using to uh, measure the, ri the risk? That is tool to handle, used to handle risk. Let's look on uh, several tools or handling the risk. Number one, indicate the expected, the expected, the expected monetary value. The expected monetary value. That is the first tool. So in bracket, you can see EMF and Z. That is the expected monetary value in bracket EMV. And then the second one is standard deviation. Standard deviation. Standard deviation. And then the, the third one is what? Coefficient. Coefficient of variation. In bracket, CV. Coefficient of variation in bracket, CV. So easy me tools they need to measure to measure risk. That is expected monetary value, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. So expected monetary value to invest something. How much are we expecting to get? That is the return. And then standard deviation to measure. Uh, standard deviation is used to measure absolute risk. So when I make a small bank and then see you have to make up measure nini? Absolute, absolute risk. Absolute risk. Sema absolute nini, you understand absolute kama nini? If you say something is absolute, if you say something is absolute, you know manishanga nini? Certain, maybe. It's something that it is uh, at least a hundred percent, hundred percent, right? Mm. Yeah. So the standard deviation 
if you get the risk which is higher, ukipata risk ikiwa higher na umetumia standard deviation, that risk is exactly 100%, 100%, there is no doubt. But coefficient of variation, inatumia, it uses what? A relative. So it's used to measure the relative, relative risk. Relative risk. So this one is used to measure the relative risk. The relative risk is not 100% percent sure. So you need to understand, to a standard deviation, to measure which kind of a risk under standard deviation, that's a coefficient of varia, variation. So apart to measure risk, you can calculate. So we have the for illustration. So we have the illustration. Illustration. Right for me, illustration, illustration. Illustration, so to kona. There's a corner nature. That is state of nature. The state of nature ABC. That is our state of nature ABC. And then we have the probabilities. We have the probabilities. Probabilities. That is zero, uh, zero, zero, three, zero, two. 0, 0.5. So the probability should add up to one. And then under the probabilities, we have the return. So could a return of x and we have the return of y. We have two returns here to put a return of x and return of what? Of y. So let's assume the return of y we have 10, we have 12, and we have 20. The return of y to corner 15, to corner 20, and to corner 30. That is the return of, of y. And then state required, 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 number one, expected return, expected return, that is number one. Number two, standard deviation. Standard deviation. And number three is coefficient of variation. That is CV. Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. So how do you get the expected return in the Unifanya financial management? That's why you have to advance financial management. So it means that you have come across this one. How do you calculate the expected return? Uh -huh. I can't remember. You can't remember. So from the word, if you add anything in a cyber expected, Ukisikia anything inasema expected me, ni kitu tuna expect ifanyike in future. So lazima tukwe na nini? Probabilities. Ndiyo? So this one, uh, probabilities what? Attach. Eh? So probabilities attach. Ukisikia expected. So it means the probabilities have been attached. So how do you get expected return? So expected return, expected return, expected return, expected return, or a two return, time is probability, or time is probability. 
So we take the return times the probability. That is the expected return. So that's why here we have been given the probability and we have been given the return. The return. So they want us to get the return of X given to the state of measure A, B, C. So to write after your return. So you will take that one. That is for. So we will can calculate expected return of each state, or you can compare. Compile. So for return of X, for return of X, that is return of X will be summation, will be summation of return, will be summation of return times probabilities. So will be summation of return times the probab probabilities. No. So your x is a chukwa, your x is a chukwa, 0 0.3 times 10, that is the return, this is the probability, this is the return, this is the return 10 plus 0 0.2 times the, probab uh, the probability, 0 0.2 times the return of 12 plus 0 0.5 times the probability, uh, probability 0 0.5 times return here, 20 in a pair of With the return of y, again, you take the return times the probability. So it's a for 0 0.3 times 15 plus uh, 0 0.2 times 20 plus 0 0.5 times uh, 30. Twenty-five point nine. Twenty-three point five. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. What am I going to change in the return? Can I go do? Ten In a good day, a good day, mom. Five. So that is there. The mm. first part expected return. So I hope you guys have the expected return in a new one. So our uh, exam in the advanced level mm. section three is no. Mm. So we will talk about sensitivity analysis and net present value to be expected. So any concept would occur when I apply. So any concept would occur when I apply. And then the second one is a standard deviation. I hope you understand the value. Zero point three zero is it? You understand? Hey. So we can sum here.
So Roman 2, mm. we will use standard deviation. And to measure standard deviation to measure uh, absolute risk. So we need to get the formula of getting the standard deviation. So how do you get the standard deviation? Standard deviation equal to summation. So before even I write the formula, in simple term, standard deviation equal to what? Root, root of what? But variance. You know? Standard deviation in a quanga root, root, uh, root of variance. Eh? This is variance. That is standard deviation. So, and how do you get the variance? So, to get the variance inside there, you take summation into bracket, the return, let's assume return of x minus expected return of x bracket is squared, then to now multiply with probabilities. That's how you get what standard deviation. So you get the summation of into bracket return of x minus expected return of x. You square, multiply there with probabilities, then you get the root of answer. That's how you get the standard deviation. So here you will not put the calculator direct. You will arrange it so that at the end we have the variance. To share part of your variance to the square root, to find a square root, any variance. This one is variance. So let's get that variance first. And the formula, your formula, and the formula. So let's get the variance of which state of nature. So to go state of nature. <laughs> A, B, C. So the variance, you take. How many potential? A, you mean Araka? Apo kwa formula, you may delete Araka. Oh, so you can formula standard deviation equal to root, a measure into bracket R, that is the return of X minus expected return of X. Bracket like a square root squared times the probabilities. square root. So any formula. Okay. So when you make part, So now you want to use that formula. Expected uh, in a return of what at one then are x. We want to start division of x, return of x. Under the state of nature a, return of x in Gapi. The same. Under? State of nature, you've got to make a return. You've got to make the same, see you? Uh. Minus expected return that is 25.9. Yeah. Yes, 25.9. Bracket you squared, and then you multiply by probabilities of that return that is 0 .3, 0 0.3. My pattern and the yaki apple. When I could the second one, return yaki is equal to 12. So you take 12 minus 25.9, you square times probabilities, that is 0 0.2. The, same, the third one, you take the return 20 minus 25.9, you square times the probability, that is 0 0.5. Let's say I'm going to get from the total. When you talk to calculator angle, you see you don't uh what you mean you don't watch
much are you getting how much are you getting so let's uh, get up so you check what that is a uh, 10 so you take 10 minus 2.59 in a negative 15.9 you spare time is 0 0.3 in a 75.8 three. The second one, you check 12 minus 2.9, five, you squared. The same 12 minus uh, 2.9, you squared. In 0 0.2, we are that 8.602. The second one, the third one, 20 minus 25.9 squared times 0 0.5, we are 17.005. Then you add the total. That is 7.5. 25.3 plus 38.602 plus 17.405. Total in a figure 130, 1.89. This is variance. Eh? This is variance. We put a yen in a pata, and you take a yen pata. Wait, this the first one will go on my part a negative. A kuna negative you kuna square. Uki pata that negative, 10 minus uh, 10 minus 29, 25.9 in a square negative, right? Mm. You squared. Uki square negative times negative in a potter, in a core positive. If you take negative times negative in a paper, positive. So a kuna mali uta pata <laughs> negative. Okay. Na kiko pamoja. Eh, kiko pamoja. Ah, ukisha pata variance, the total hiyo ni variance. Na tumesema standard deviation is the root of variance. So to get now standard deviation. Get the standard deviation. I take the root of variance. That is a uh, root that you want. One that you want point eight nine. Inani say anga p. That is a root. A root. A uh, uh, root answer. A part of standard deviation is one point twenty four eight. Root so you're on the standard deviation. Da? 11. 11. Yes, 11.48. I'm going to put a gap here to one that one that one point. We'll come with them. 11. We'll put a gap here. 11. We'll come with them. We'll come with them. We'll come with them. Ah, we'll come with them. 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 We'll come with them
you pay your the risk mm -hmm. rate of risk is higher. Yo. And to me, part 11. So, the risk it is very up high. So, get for me now the standard deviation for return of Y. So, get for me the standard deviation of return of Y. Return of Y to report na 15, 20, na 30. Before return. So, get for me the standard deviation. Get for me the standard deviation. I'm <laughs> happy. <laughs> Point seven two. Point seven two. That is uh, good. Eh? <laughs> so in exam, would you would you repeat? Yes. Yeah, and you pesema about one. I oh. I don't know if if the risk is below one. It, it yes. means it the risk is not. If the if the if the, if the if the answer is below one, it means that the risk is very low. Okay. Yes, or even there is no risk. If you get the negative, it means that there is no risk. But if it is more than one, it means that the risk is very high. Yeah? So in yes. exam, in exam. You don't arrange like this one because you only have three hours and you have so many questions. So you put uh, your calculator. Unaeka zote, 10 minus that one. Let me make yo. Like, uh, you call 15 minus 23.5. Forget plus times that one. Unaeka zote in calculator, but make sure you get your answer. Like me, you may put a but you can get so that's how you compute the standard deviation. Then the next one is coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. That is 
CV, you said CV, you have to be a relative risk. How do you get CV, the uh, provision of variation? You take standard deviation. Standard deviation to divide by expected return. Time is probably time is hundred percent. Sorry, time is hundred percent. So that's how we get the coefficient of variation. You take the standard deviation, you divide by expected return. Time is hundred. So here, we could a state of nature. A, B, and C. That we have the standard deviation. As equal, no. Now, find a coefficient of variation of return, not the state of nature. So, to put a return of a uh, return of y and return of, return of x and y. Standard deviation of return of x to the pattern equal 11.8. Equal 48. You divide by expected return. Expected return is equal to 25.9. Same is 100. And that the next one is 6.7. 6.72. We divide by expected return, that is 23.5 times 100%. Give me the, the answer. Give me the answer. The answer. The first one, the first one, forty four point three, forty four point three, the second one, twenty eight point five, twenty eight point five. So that one is provision of variation. variation. So I will give you an illustration, then you do it. So the second illustration you will get for me. Not to give you this one, but this one. Ayla probabilities, Ayla probabilities, Ayla probabilities. So you will try this one. So let's say A, you have A, B, C. You have the return with uh, 5, 10, 15, with a return of X. That is the return of X drops zero point five, zero point one, and zero point point four. So you will uh, you will try that one. So just uh, write it to the interview after class. So let's go to the now environment under uncertainty. Environment under uncertainty illustration. So here it is called environment under certainty. That's why the probability to call the final you have been given the probes. That is there to the power. So the next one now, the next illustration is environment under uncertainty. The probabilities is not there 
and how can you get the expected return, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. So to indicate the illustration, illustration that is environment under uh, certainty. So to talk to me at the same state of nature A, B, I see. And then to talk on a return, this one now we don't have the, the probabilities, but for a return a Y, na X. We have seven, three, we have seven, three, and five. In Y. In Y. Y to corner 10, 8, 10, 18, 2. Required expected return, standard deviation, and coefficient of varia variation. You are required to compute expected return, standard deviation, and coefficient of varia variation. So the formula remains the same. What the expected return and standard deviation? So it will be the same. So nothing will change. So we can actually we are going to the probabilities. How to calculate probabilities? Let me see the kumbuka. Let's be in the Konga link to approve the Mange label Ukia Kitianga Ukitianga Ita Rudua. So, what in a Rudua Rudua? Especially financial reporting, financial management, a hold it. So, Ukimarizana now the section four of the same little say pattern. So now, Get expected return. You take the summation of the return. You take the summation of the return, you divide by n. That is the number of state of nature. Like here we have one, two, three. So I will take the summation of the return, then I divide by by n. So I will get for a return of x and a return of y. So I will add the returns, that is seven plus three plus five, I divide by three to give me the expected return. The same gives the return of y, that is 10 plus 18 plus two, we divide by three, give us the expected return. return. So Ningapi, So the first one is 15. If you add the three, you get 15, you divide by three, you get five. 10 plus 18 plus two, you get 30 plus, you divide by three, you get 10. So these are the expected returns for each, uh, for each security, security X and Y. Then how do you get the standard deviation? So standard deviation here again, you don't have the probabilities. 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 So again, the formula will remain the same. So such a summation, uh, summation, in the bracket, return of security X minus return expected return of that security X. Here we don't have the probabilities. Root, because we don't have the probability, you squared, and then you take N minus one. 
n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1. Kisha pata iyo, get the root of your answer. To give you standard deviation. Get the root of your answer to give you standard deviation. So the first one, uh, return of security X, On a return of security X, I can go for the P. So you add the total, eh? so we can uh, get individually. So you can, you let me find you anyway. Yeah? You know, you seven minus return five, you get squared. Second one is three minus five squared. And then five minus five squared. This one I can give you answer zero. That is negative two squared at pair four. Negative two squared at pair four. If you add the total, you get eight. So you will take now eight. We divide by three minus one. Three minus one. That is two. It at pair four. So you get root of four in P. This is two. So our standard deviation is two. Our standard deviation is two. Not any rise. Our standard deviation is the two. So get for me for this one is for security X. So get for me for security Y. Get for me for security Y. In the quarter. In the quarter. Ah. The same one which quote the return. Yes. I you see the loan you unandika Rx you ni ni ni. Rx apa? Rx mm -hmm. ni uh, e. e. Hey, yenye unafanya seven minus five. Oh, so tunatumia tu ile formula kama ile ingine. Tumesema unachukua the return of x. X mm -hmm. is a security, sinyo? Mm. Una minus expected return expected return ya security. Si tumilikuwa tumepata expected return ya x hapo ikuwe 5. Ni 5, sinyo? Eh. So unachukua, una subtract expected return. Iyo answer yinyo mepata, unafanya square. Unafanya square. So ni mechukua, okay. which is 7. I subtract expected return, which is 5. I get squared, you can pair 4. The same case, na easy. E is 0. The 5 minus 5 is 0. Yeah. So get for me for y. Thank you. 
64 8 8 mm. that is uh what the expected return yeah. 10 in the quarter yeah in the quarter so uh the first one is a four zero the second one is a four mm -hmm. 18, that is uh, 64. 64. Uh, plus this one, 64. the second one is a four. 64. 64. Yeah. We'll eight. And then we'll eight, we divide by two, that is 64, so it will be the eight. It's okay. Huh? Uh, how about, now your party could divide? We'll have total 128. 128 divided by, by n minus 1. Yes, which is 2. A in a quad 64. 64 in a pair? 8. 8. So that is uh, <clears throat> how to get the expected return, standard deviation. And coefficient of variation, you just take the standard deviation. You divide by expected return. The first one will equal so ZV. You take a standard deviation, which is two, we divide by five times 100. The next one is eight. Eight, we divide by 10 times 100 to give us the CV. Give us the CV. Give us the CV. Yes. <laughs> Apple coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation to the same one, which for standard deviation. Which for standard deviation, you divide by expected return. The same way you take standard deviation. You divide by expected return. Then to multiply by 100. So for a uh, return of X, our security X, for a standard deviation upper two, can divide the expected return to get from the quarter five, you multiply by 100. For security Y, you take standard deviation here, can be eight. You divide by expected return, which we have already calculated, that is 10 times 100 percent. How much are we getting? How much is the first one? The first one? Yes. Uh, 40. 40? This one is 80. 80. Uh, that's how you can do the expected return. 
So already to now uh, that the advanced under capital, the first part, that is environment under uncertainty and under uh, certainty, both two. So you see the first, the other one, the probabilities you have been given, the other one, there is no probabilities. So that's how we compute. Now let's see simulation. So simulation by the equal simulation, simulation. So could I any questions, Apple? Before we move, do you have any question? No question. Yeah. No question. We can now go to the simulation. Go to so you write for me simulation so simulation what works I want to simulate it means that uh, you are copying the reality or you are imitating the real the reality so that is the meaning of what uh simulation so you can say is what to imitate the reality or the situation to imitate the reality or the situation situation. So nobody will ask you to divide a simulation per section under advanced level. So it will all about what calculation. So here, under simulation, you need to know how you can divide the range. Uh, sensitivity analysis, QS, the want to pick a range. So here, you need to understand how you can divide the range the range. So you will be given the range. So we need to understand how we can divide the range. That is the random, random range. So a up for random range, a random range. We need to understand how we can divide the random range. How we divide the random range. So you will be given the price or the cost of the product and then you need what to do simulation given the, the random re range. So let's say we have the price. We have the price that is 10, uh, 20, and 30. That is the price 20, 10, and uh, our 10, 20, 30. And then we have the probabilities. Zero two, zero point three, and zero point five, point five. So they will give you the price or the return. Then they will give you the probability. Probabilities that they need you do a simulation until you get what the end product or the net present value, the NBV. So it na tumia kutafuta NBV, the net present value, so that we see. We evaluate the what? The project. So you need to know how to divide this range. So to divide the range, you come up with cumulative, cumulative probabilities. You come up with cumulative prob probabilities. Cumulative probabilities, now you get the random, random range. The random range number. So cumulative, we can get it. That is the first one in the course 0 0.2. You take this one plus this one in the 0 0.5. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 in the 1.0. That is our cumulative. 
probabilities. Ukishapata cumulative probabilities, the next stage is you get the random re range. So how can we get the random range? So kuna asima uelewe mabona decimal na digits apa. So you will get a small dot apple and B. So for one decimal, you get one digit. For two decimal, decimal places, you get two digits. For three decimal places, you get three digits. Get three digits. Get three digits. So apa na jaribu kusema? For each probability, cumulative probability apa? How many decimal to mepewa? For how many decimal? One decimal, right? Yes. If you want a one decimal, it's a clear one digit. So I'm saying for a 0 0.2. So come out to a 0 0.2. Yamanisha eat a poor one digit. So upper it a poor one digit from zero to uh from zero to la to nine. That is one digit. From zero to na to nine. That's how you get the range. If you are two digits, that is zero point. Let me zero point zero uh zero two. Even you do this small place. So if you are do this small place, that's not gonna two two digits. Yo. So it a qua range up for zero zero to ninety-nine. Zero, zero, that is two digit to ninety nine. Into two, 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 three digit, zero, zero, two, zero, 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 two, nine, 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 nine. When I have in my father, yes, so that's how we get the range. So, given to the example here, we can get our range. So, the first range up on a four zero to the less one. So it are zero to one. Then to the answer that you two, it are four zero two. two for e, you know, the less one, two to four, and then five to nine. So e in our, this is our range random. Hello. Yes. So give me this range. I want to give you example another one, exercise two. So exercise two, exercise two, exercise two, apple. Exercise two, it's gonna, it's gonna ten, it's gonna ten, twenty, the probabilities, to go zero point two, the zero point eight. So give me the random range. Give me the random range. In 0, 0.0, sorry, now in 0, 0.08. So give me the random range. Give me the random range, give me the random range. Give me the random range, give me the random range. So the first one. The next one is zero point two zero. Zero point two. Zero point eight. Yeah, two zero. Two zero. Two. 
to 0 0.99. 0 0.9. This zero point zero nine nine. Upon deck a point, upon deck a point, upon deck a point. This okay, so it's zero. The first one you have got it right. Zero 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 two nine to nine one. The next one here. I I think ni ni mefanya ni ni cumulative kwanza ama yes you get the cumulative first so well the cumulative after see after the first one the second one is a one yes so cumulative and butter cumulative gap. yeah kwanza zero point two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pili ni, ni, ni one. Uh -huh. So range? A range ikakua zero zero two zero to zero one two. nine. One nine, uh-huh. One nine. Alafu two, two zero two nine nine. Nine nine. Am I in? Mm. So that's how you get the range. So that's good. So that's how you get the range. Yeah? Mm. So you can write this illustration. This topic here is very wide. It's very wide. So may I ask? Yes. Simulation. Sikuani me ona to me andika simulation anywhere. <laughs> simulation bado. This is the step of getting simulation. Eh? <laughs> Dona sema. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, as in under which category does oh. simulation fall? Bado to go under topic one, eh? Uh huh. Tuko under topic one. Nita kutumia syllabus wangalia syllabus topic one tiko na nini. So bado tuko na topic okay. one. Eh? Mm. So topic one, that is 1.1, inataka incorporating risk, stroke, uncertainty in capital investment decision. Uh, number two, techniques of handling risk. Nye tume, tumeangalia, that is basic method of analysis, expected monetary value. The standard deviation and coefficient of variation. See you to me, Angalia. Uh, and then number two, that is under topic one. Number two, under topic one is advanced method of analysis. Advanced method of analysis. For advanced method of analysis, to kona sensitivity analysis, scenario analysis, decision three, decision three. Kona decision three and then to kona simulation analysis, to kona utility analysis, to kona risk adjusted discounting rate and certainty equivalent method. Mona is under subtopic. And then to cure up or tenor to kona impact of financing on investment decision, the concept of adjustment present value APC and then to put a rationing and to put a project of an equivalent type. So we talk to me about print. We angalia ni tako na angalia ni mimi tunafanya sisi yao. Because we under this one, that is a topic number two. We go up as simulation. So to apart to me ambiwa to put a sensitivity analysis. To put a simulation. Utility analysis. To utility analysis. To put a scenario analysis. Put uh, to me as a sasa ah, 
Hiyo ya kwanza tumeanza simulation ana analysis eh? So hizo ni topic ana topic one. Topic one bado topic one iko na sub topic around nine. Na hizo nine ziko nyingine ziko sub sub topic. Eh? That's why nimekuambia ESM is very wide. kama leadership ama ye, ama EME so tuandike illustration then to see hiyo illustration say x and y limited x y illustration x y limited x y limited intense intense <laughs> intends to replace intends to replace existing machine existing machine existing machine with new machine with new machine uh which new machine which is expected expected which is expected to increase 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 its profitability its profitability its profitability its profitability over the next over the next over the next 3 years over the next 3 years Say due to uncertainty, due to uncertainty, due to uncertainty in expected cash flow, in expected cash flow, in expected cash flow. Of the machine, of the machine, of the machine, of the machine. We put a full so let's say the following estimate. The following, the following estimate, the following estimate. With associated probability, with associated probabilities, with associated probabilities has been provided, has been, has been provided. Has been provided. Has been provided. Has been provided. Look, Shanika, ni ni Shanika. Okay. Okay. What do you mean? Sorry. So you read year one. So we love years. Yeah, annual 
cash flows. We have annual cash flows. And then we have the probabilities. And we have the probabilities. So year one, we will take in million shillings in thousands. Shillings in thousand year one. Shillings in thousand year one to put a 10, a 12, a 20. 25. Then to put a probabilities. Oh, sorry. If I put 10, 12, 10, 12, to put a 10, 20, not 25. Probabilities to put a 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. 0 0.1. Then to call year two, our annual cash flows to call 10, 15, 10, 15, 6, uh, 7. Probabilities to call 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 on the six and then 0 0.4. That is the probabilities. And then year three, year, year three, we love the annual cash flows. Year three, we love the annual cash flows. That is 10, eight, 10 for our probabilities. For our probabilities, 0 .3, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. So that is the illustration. So make sure you separate the and you need to get the range, random range for each year. Is a probability as in any as it as the Pelecani annual cash flows and the annual cash flow. In the in the end of the the other ones. Oh, in the in a good is a so because our Oh, as well as the body. So we can put uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Because, uh, what we the probability should add up to one. Eh? The cost of capital, the cost of capital, the cost of capital, the cost of capital, that is the cost of capital is 12%. The cost of capital is 12%. And the initial outlay and the initial outlay and the initial outlay of the machine and the initial outlay of the machine shall be and the initial outlay of machine shall be 27 m shall be 27 m shall be 27 m required roman 1 ama a Required A, use, uh, using expected monetary value, using expected monetary value, using expected monetary value, calculate, calculate the expected uh, net present value, 
calculate the expected net present value the expected net present value of investing calculate the expected net present value of investing of investing in the machine of investing in the machine of investing in the machine in the same using expected monetary value calculate the expected uh, net present value of the investing of the investing in the machine and then roman sorry is yenye una dictate ni ni roman 2 ama roman a nilikuwa narudia tu roman a oh okay okay roman a b ama roman 2 andika analyze the risk analyze the risk analyze the risk that is inherent analyze the risk inherent analyze the inherent risk sorry analyze the inherent risk in the situation in the situation above in the situation above in the situation above by simulation by simulation or by simulating by simulating and bv by simulating and bv by simulating and bv comma by simulating and bv comma and calculate the resultant and calculate the resultant calculate the resultant and bv resultant and bv number c number c you say what is the probability what is the probability what is the probability what is the probability of a new machine what is the probability of a new machine of a new machine generating generating negative results what is the probability of a new machine what is the probability of a new machine generating a new uh, generating negative result generating negative result that opportunity to make our random numbers generating a negative result then you write for me the random numbers You write for me random numbers. Write for me random numbers. So the first random number to corner 43, corner 22, corner 66, corner 76, corner. Seventy-six. Yeah, seventy-six. Twenty-four, seventy-eight. Twenty-four, seventy-eight. You have ninety zero seven. Ninety zero seven. Forty-five. Forty-five, twenty-eight. Five, twenty-eight. Forty-four. Forty-six. Sorry. And to call um, Dati, 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 Kuna Nindi, and zero two and zero two. 
So that is the random number. And zero two. And zero two. Zero two and zero two. Zero two and zero two. Zero two. So now so before even we do that, so now for me I've ever so Tanika year one, Tanika annual cash flow. This is the annual cash flow in Kone Mandika. Wandike probabilities. Wandike cumulative probabilities. Shandika cumulative probabilities. You get for me a range number. You get for me the range number. Like the first annual cash flow is equal to 10. Hello? 20? 20? Uh -huh. 24? That is annual cash flow. Probabilities, we've got my power 0 0.3. 0 0.4. 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. So you can get cumulative. I hope we shall not easy. Yeah. Can you so? Random range. We shall not random range. We shall not random range. So you are careful. Hey, you are not. You are not careful. Cumulative, cumulative probabilities. So random range cumulative uh, probabilities equal 0 0.3, it equal 0 0.7, it equal 0 0.9, and it equal 1.1. That is cumulative uh, probabilities. So you can get for me the range. Kumbuka range will be one digit, one decimal, one digit. So for one is more so up I talk for the first one it for zero two two three two six seven two uh eight and then and eat a four nine two nine to what? To ten. Ten to ten. So you need probabilities to make what up cumulative probabilities to be ten. Seven plus two. Uh, 
one. So tafanya hizo range za ya two, ya three, hivo. So hiyo ni tapuwa joy assignment, tafanya hiyo range. So wacha tu tujibu uh, question one. Tumeambiwa expected monetary value. Which, which range? Si mtafanya range, hii ni mekupanya range ya 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 one. Si mtafanya hiyo ya two. Hizi tutatumia kwa ramanda, uh, kwa question B, kwa simulation. So tutatumia hizi. I think si kuandika ya two. Oh, and ya two jo, ilikuwe meanza kutoka ten. Eh, yeah, ilikuwe meanza kutoka ten. Okay, sawa. Na hizi zingine ni ikona umeka probabilities to two digit eh inafaa kwa two digits ndio eh 2 1 0 0 juu that's why hapa it makes sense unaona hapa chini inakuja something like so add uh equal two digit eh you add 0 0 0 0 hizo zote zote probability ndio Mm. Utaifanya hiyo so achia hiyo utaifanya hiyo range wacha tufanye roman A expected monetary value sio Yes Tuseme expected monetary value lazima ujue kuna nini probability sio mm. expected monetary so, value A question Yes A uh, apo kwa range Ah. Iyo ya mwisho ni ya mwisho 9 to 10. Hii range, ukifanya hiyo range, itakuja si tumesha ongeza 0. So hii itakuja 0, 0 to 29. Mm. 30 to 69. 70 to 89. 90 to 99. So it should okay. be one. So I can have one. That's why you may engineer is going to pay one. You are too to make a two digit. So is it a fine range? Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, three. What is the fine A? A to the same expected monetary value. You get, you get the return. So upper, at a to me return. So to not me annual cash flow. Senior. We are not using the cash here. We are using the annual cash flows. So expected monetary value, I will take annual cash flow. Time is probabilities. Time is probabilities. No. So for year one, for year one, I will take the annual cash flow that is 10 times probability 0 0.3, 0 plus 12 times 0 0.04 plus 20 times 0 0.20 plus 24. And 0 .0, 0 0.1, I get the expected return of year one. Year one. Now, could I have Expected return of year one, now could I have Unaificha kidogo. Ah. 
Inakuwa 14.2. 14.2? Fourteen point. Fourteen point what? Point two. Fourteen point two. Then, that is for year one. Then expected return for year two. Utachukua year two will come back to Ten. And 0 0.3 plus 15 and 0 0.3 plus uh, 6 and 0 0.2 plus uh, 7 and 0 0.2. And then we have your 3 will be 10 times 0 0.2. Because zero point three plus eight times zero point five plus ten times zero point twenty two get for me the expected return returned up. The second year is 10.1. 10.1. Yes. 10.1. The third is nine. Nine. The first is nine. The first is nine. So, ukisha pata hizo. So, tunakuja. How do we get the NBV? Let me start. Uh, by asking, how do we get the NBV? This is section three, financial management. How do you get the NBV? How to get the NBV? The, and the net book value. Yes, how to get the net book value. Now, this one now is not uh -huh. the net book value. Net book value is for financial reporting. Net present value. Oh, the NPV. Yes, it's Kubuka. So to get the net present value, that is NPV. You take uh So to get NBV, you take cash flows, you take cash flows, you check cash flow times discounting factor, and the discounting factor. Then the discounting factor minus initial outlay. Minus initial 
outlay minus initial outlay. So let's go back a bit to section three of level three, that is financial management. So under discounting factor, under time value of money, because the regular cash flow and we have irregular we have irregular ca cash flows. So for regular cash flow, like if they are year one, year one, two, three, we're gonna 10, 10, 10. This is the regular cash flows because it is all the same. 10, 10, 10, 10. If you could have 10, 15, and 16. This one is irregular, irregular cash flows. This one is a regular cash flow. So for regular cash flow, that to me what is called present value, which are annuity. That to me a present value, interest factor, annuity for regular cash flows. For irregular cash flows, that to me are PV. Present value interest factor. Present value interest factor for irregular cash flows, right? For irregular cash flows. So for our year two, in our question, we have irregular cash flows. We have 14, we have 10, and we have nine. That is irregular cash flows. So if it is irregular cash flows, we use this one, present value interest factor. I hope you have got that concept. So make sure you put, uh, you write it down so that you don't forget. Uh, please don't, don't read it. Yes. Oh, you give me a chance to copy all that I haven't written. Okay. Thank 
I'm through. Okay. You have two now. Can get a. So we can get now the NBV. So we we'll write here, here one, two, three, cash flow. Uh, 14.2, uh, 10.3, we have 10.1, then we have 9. Since this one is irregular, we use the present with present, a uh, present value interest factor, and we have been given the discounting our cost of capital, that is 0%. So that here, Get the present value. <clears throat> because we don't have a past paper here, we could have read direct from the past paper to get the present value, interest factor, and but you can't use the formula to get it now. So your formula will be so here it's like we are getting one plus r raised to power. N. That is one plus R raised to power power N. So our N is year one, year two. So for the first one, it will be the cost of capital, which is ten. So it will be one plus twelve percent. I divide by hundred bracket raised negative one. Is negative one. You know, pattern up it is negative one. You open it with a present value. Then the next one is a core one plus if you divide 100 here of square 0 0.12 raised to negative two. The next one will be one plus 0 0.12 raised to negative three. Which one to put in your calculator? So if you add this one, it gives you 1.12, 1.12 raised to negative one, give you 0 0.8, put four days more, 0 0.929. If you get this one, you multiply by annual cash flow, so time is 14. Two, so that I get uh, 12, I get 12, so that I get 12, so that I get 12, uh, 6, 7, or 8. Then the next one, it will be 1.12 1, 1, raised to power negative two to give me zero point eight seven nine seven two then I multiply by the annual cash flow that is ten point one so that I get eight eight point zero five the last one will be one point one two raised to 
power 3 sine 9 so upper is an upper measure in an appear 6.41 the counting factor is 0 0.7118 if you factor, you get the total, your present value. That is 12.68 plus 8.05 plus 6.01. You get 27.14. That is the present value. So this is the present value, unless initial outlay are prepared as I of initial outlet. Initial outlet will go to Miami 27 million. So we less 27 million year initial outlet. To give us a 0 0.14. That is the net, net present value. So our net present value is 0 0.1. One form. So if it happened that you are told to advise the management, anything which is positive under the net present value, we accept. So the management can go on and acquire a new machine since the net present value is what? Is positive. So kuna any swali, kuna swali. Hakuna uh, swali. Lakini. Aha. Uh, Iyo pati ya NPV umesema aje? NPV. Well, about the answer. Uh, uh, answer, you advise the management to acquire a new machine since the net present value is positive. Okay. Yes. So anything we deposit under the net present value, we accept. Anything positive? Yes, anything positive. Okay. Okay. So I think uh, 